What's up everybody? Well, I got another Firebat mini PC gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna try to play Star Wars Outlaws. It's probably not gonna go very well, but we're gonna try it anyway. So let's go ahead and go hop into the game. So this whole game is probably gonna run horribly on there, but we're gonna try it out anyway. So we're gonna run FSR 3 on quality. Just like we don't the ally, I figured this thing wasn't gonna be powerful enough to play without some help. We play it all. It's probably still gonna get horrible FPS. I don't think any of the settings are gonna work good on this guy. But we're still gonna try it anyway. So let's get into the game. Here we go in the game. Now remember, OBS is taking some of the FPS away, but it's not taking that many. Probably four to five at that at most. So that might make it borderline playable but I have a feeling there's gonna be times where it drops down even into the teens, even if you weren't recording. But hey, there's this is kind of like the frame rates that freaking Zelda would drop to on the Switch. So, I mean, and people still enjoy that game, so that's why I still wanted to get a little footage here. I'm not gonna make it quite as long as I usually do, just cause it's pretty, pretty low FPS. Oh wow, we dropped all the way to 21. Ah, uh, just kidding. Ah, you thought I was gonna come over here, but no, nope. you just got owned. You wouldn't believe the junk they just throw away. Oh, wouldn't I? All right, let's move on, shall we? So let's drop it down to 900p now. Still probably not going to be playable. I want to be thorough here and try. Before we drop it all the way down to 720p with FSR. We'll try frame gen at the end too, just like we did on the LIX. And here's the rest of the settings here. And now, let's get into the game. Now here's 900p. So let's just run a little bit. Doesn't seem to improve too much. Just like on the Ally X, we only gained an FPS or two. It wasn't a night and day difference at all. So there we go, let's now drop it down again. So now 720p time. Just using FSR3 for now, and then after this, we'll try out frame gen after. So let's go check out the rest of the settings here real quick. And now for the advanced settings. That's that, to the game. So let's try some FSR3 quality with it being on 720p. And nope, it looks, it looks like we still can't hit a constant 30, at least while recording. And, nope, I was gonna say maybe we could hit if we stopped recording, but not not at 24. I don't, I don't think we would hit 30 all the time. That's a little too many FPS. Maybe if I was trying to record in 4K, it would use that much FPS, but we're not. I just do 1080p that's the highest resolution we do on these, so why record any higher than that?
next shipment's coming in. You'll get your cut. There's three men. Ah, much better. I snuck into the pond. Huh. All the merchants are out for the Had to take a little drink. The throat was parched. Hey, another thing to pick up. What do you know? And now, let us move along. So, here we go, 720p, FSR 3 on quality, but we are now turning on frame gen. Are we leaving the rest of the settings the same? Because this thing can barely handle it as it is. And even with frame gen's help, it's probably still not going to be very playable. But that's okay, this thing doesn't have to play everything. But I figured someone out there was curious how something like this would play a game like this. And, spoiler alert, not too well. But anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? All right, we're in the game. Frame times are going absolutely bananas. And it still doesn't feel like it's getting no 40, 50 FPS. In fact, it almost feels worse than it did before we turned frame gen on, if I'm honest. I think I'd rather just play at 30 FPS. I wasn't doing this as bad on the Ally, but the ally is a little bit more powerful and has more VRAM and all that good stuff. Now, they should be equal in that, but this one, I put it back to creative as someone suggested, and it only says it's using 434 megabytes of RAM, so maybe that's just bullshit, and it can use as much as it wants. That's what they said. They said it'll use as much as it wants. Don't pay attention to the memory. And I'm like, well, that's lame, then. How am I supposed to tell you how much VRAM a game's using, then? And then he was like, well... Good point, but at the same time, your shit was always just maxing out at four in most games anyway. And I was like, ah, touche. But at least in some of the lighter games, it didn't. But anyway, let's move on to camera. All right, let's get a little camera recorded gameplay now. And those frame times are doing some goofy stuff. Yeah, can't even hit a fake 60 FPS. So yeah, I do not think the fire bat is probably the place to play Star Wars Outlaws. I didn't really think so, but I still want to try it out, just for those that are curious. It's just not the most enjoyable experience, at least in my opinion. If you guys, if you have people out there think this is fine for them, cool. Then I'm glad I made the video, but I feel like most of it will be like, oh, that's how it runs? No, I'm good. All right, let's go whip around and head back to like where you basically come out of the, out of where you're staying in this game. It looked like it was kind of some kind of bar or something like that. So we'll head back there, and then I think we'll 
wrap it up there. There's no reason to be subjecting ourselves to this kind of frame rate and whatnot. this video on up. All right, guys, that's a wrap for Star Wars Outlaws on the Farbat Mini PC. And yeah, it seems like it's a little too weak to play a game like this, in my opinion. But however, if what you saw there was playable in your opinion, well, boom, go for it. But I figure that's a little too slow for most people. Even with frame gen's help, we couldn't hit a constant 60. And that wouldn't even have been a real 60 FPS anyway. But still, couldn't even do that. But it is what it is. It's not like it's a super expensive thing. The fact that it could play it and not crash. I played it all that time and it didn't actually crash on me. Maybe it would once I got out of the starting area. Yeah, but so far I didn't crash on anything for me except my main PC one time So I don't know what was up with that But I'm hoping that was only a singular thing although I'm probably gonna play this game on the TV PC anyway But who knows maybe this thing just crashes on everything and it just so happened to be on my main PC that I saw it crash And now once I start playing it, then maybe it'll crash all the time who knows But in any case that is all I got for you guys for this particular video I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video Peace out guys